in my work, we study both the successes and the failures of biological systems, and then we try to take that knowledge and use it to improve engineering systems, uh, like underwater vehicles, uh, cardiac diagnosis of heart failure, and uh, more recently, wind energy. I've always been interested in, in engineering systems, trying to understand how in nature or in man-made uh, structures how things work. And jellyfish seemed like an interesting challenge because on the surface they seem very simple. When you start to dig deeper you find out that there's a lot of uh, interesting complexity in these animals. We've been developing technology in our lab to measure the animals in the field. So what we've done is to develop technology that a scuba diver can take into the water and actually measure the flow currents that the animals create in their natural environment. The basic idea is that we can use lasers to measure how much energy the animals are expending to swim, how efficient they are, and so on. And so what we were interested in finding out was whether there was a sweet spot where you could have animals that were both efficient but also effective swimmers. Uh, it turns out they don't exist in nature, but we as engineers can build them in the laboratory. One of our interests for, for several years in my lab has been trying to understand ways that we can develop more effective wind energy technology. One of the points of uh, inspiration for this work was our previous studies of fish schooling. So if you see them in the ocean, in many cases they're swimming in regular patterns. And one of the uh, leading hypotheses is that they're doing this for energy savings, that one fish can basically uh, draft with its neighbors. So in developing wind energy technology, we looked for the same thing. And so we've now been able to demonstrate this in field experiments where we're able to show that by grouping wind turbines in particular arrangements, they're actually more efficient than the isolated wind turbines would be. I sort of feel uh, a personal imperative to, to do research that has an impact on society. And so it's been exciting to study these animals and then figure out how we can apply what we learn there to important societal problems like energy, like human health. The MacArthur Fellowship gives me the, the opportunity, I think, to take that next risk uh, in our research. The main thing it does is, is sort of give me a, a bigger appetite for failure, I guess. You know, coming up with some of these ideas, there's, there's lots of rejection that comes with it because it's, uh, it's unorthodox research. Even though it might not be mainstream right now, uh, it, I think it can have an impact in the long run. Mm -hmm.